Hello, so my name is David Lim, and today I'll be giving a speech on how to ask better question. Um, so some background about me, I just recently graduated from OU with a biology and MS degree. So currently I want to pursue a career in software development. Um, I also have two dogs right now, and um, one thing about me is I love learning new things. Uh, the recent thing I got really into is Catan. So if you ever want to play as like a meetup, just let me know. Um, if you want to reach out to me or check me out on LinkedIn, here's the link. And also, if you want to check out my GitHub, the link is also there. So as a new developer, um, I ask a lot of questions. Some of them are OK, and some of them could be better. right? So I think a lot about how can I get more from my question. And this is the three things I came up with. So how to get your desired answer. And there's a hidden element in asking question. And lastly is uh, I'll talk about ask away. So first off, um, many people think that the asking question process goes from asking a question and end with an answer. So that's not how I think about asking question. I think about asking questions start with um. Uh, I think about my desired answer. What is the ultimate result of my question? So, and I get that, and then I formulate my question around it. So let's have one quick example. Um, a lot of new developer ask this question. Um, so what should I learn? Which is a very open-ended question, right? It's lead to a lot of discussion and varieties of answer. In many cases, this could be a good way to ask a question, but in this specific scenario, you would get a lot of different answer that might not be what you want to hear or need, right? So with that in mind, so if you were to start with a desired answer, so my desired answer specifically is, I have the certain set of skill, and with this skill, how can I become a web developer in six months, right? So that's what I'm looking for. So I would formulate my question to be more detailed to get the most out of it. So I would ask, how can I become a software development in six software developer in six months if I know JavaScript? What framework is the best? Or what framework is easiest should I learn? So I would get more um, narrowed out answer, which more likely to help me more, right? Um, the next one I want to talk about is um, timing, which is a hidden element in asking a question. A lot of time we get too caught up in thinking about how should we phrase a question, what kind of question should we ask, and we forget about the timing. So uh, let's give the scenario. You're working on a project or on a team, and you ask your team member, um, have you finished with your task on the day of the deadline? The only answer they can give you is uh, yes or no, right? But if you were to ask the same question two weeks ago, or even two weeks ago. Um, they can only answer yes or no, but you can follow up with a question. If they said no, they can, you can follow up with a question like, how can I help you to finish it by the deadline? Right? What resource can I give you? So even though the timing are different, sometimes the answer can still be the same, but you can take follow-up action if you ask it the right timing, which ultimately lead to a different result. So lastly um, is ask away. It's more of an um, encouragement word to like my fellow new developers. Uh, a lot of time we ask questions that make us feel stupid. You know, we feel intimidated, make us feel unqualified to ask certain question. But uh, most of the time, it's not the case. What I learned is people are very happy to help. But if we ask better question, right? Is help them answer our question um, quickly you know, easier for us to understand, actually get what we need from them. And it's a win-win for both. Um, so the last thing I wanna say is um, there's no bad questions, they're just better ones. That's all for me.